it's Amber and thank you so much for joining me in today's video. Today's project is going to be so fun and I bet you have most of the materials already or you can find similar things to use. So I'm going to jump right into this tutorial. So let me tell you today we are going to be making some cute little craft fair items and they're these altered paper clips. So here's the three packs that I made. I made sunflowers and if you can see there's the paper clip and I made fall leaves with that paper clip and then I made some cute fall ones here. This is going to be so fun. I've done similar projects on my channel before and I hope that you will craft right along with me. Let's go ahead and get started. Thank you to Custom Sticker for partnering with me today. Custom Sticker is an amazing company that produces beautiful and durable custom stickers. This company has been in business for over 20 years and the cool thing about it is you can design your own sticker, you can go on there, give them an idea of kind of your vision, they can help you with a successful design. They do have free shipping for US, UK, Australia, and Canada and there is no minimum quantity required which is so amazing because that means you can order 200 stickers or you can order six stickers and some of the stickers are as low as four cents each this company is so awesome they reached out to me and, and I was able to design a custom sticker and they mailed them to me just check these out they are so beautiful I absolutely love the stickers that I created and ordered from Custom Sticker. These ones here are so simple and beautiful and these are like a matte finish. And then of course my favorite, look that's me you guys. <laughs> these have like a glossy finish and I absolutely love these. So these can go popped right onto a project or a card or anything. I would maybe use them like if I was going to sell these at a craft fair. See, they have these like little tabs here. So I just peeled off my backing and I'll stick it right there where the seal is. And oh my goodness, doesn't that just look so cute on the back of a craft fair project or like some Happy Mail? It's perfect and it sticks so nicely and I just absolutely love them. I can't wait to go and design some more stickers and order them. Um, so I'll always have them for my Etsy shop or craft fairs or just for some handmade projects. So I'm gonna leave a link right below in the description box so you can go over, click on the link, and check out this incredible website and get some of your own custom stickers today. So today I'm using this gorgeous fall paper pad that I got at Michael's. It's new this year and it's called Fall Fields. I'll do a quick little flip. It's single-sided paper and this is the perfect project for single-sided paper. So I'm just gonna kinda show you all of the materials that I used and again you can adjust accordingly for what you have in your stash. So I love the feel of this paper. It's so pretty and I love everything fall. So this is like the perfect paper pad. Um, these are $9.99 at Michael's and you could probably use a coupon if you have one. So the other thing I'm using are these clear bags from clearbags.com. And you know how much I love the quality of these clear bags. Um, that is the one I'm using today. Don't worry about memorizing it, I will link this exact one below along with my coupon code so you can get 10% off. And I always have that coupon code below for 10% off, so make sure you use it so you can save on these clear bags for your craft fair stuff and just protecting your crafts. So besides the paper and that clear bag, we're also using these jumbo paper clips. So I got these from Amazon, I got the rose gold, sorry about the shadow. I got the yellow and the orange and then I think I got green and black also let me see yes because I know I use the black one here's the black perfect for Halloween and I think I got a green one too but it's not on my desk at the moment I will link those below for you they were not that expensive and again I got them on Amazon 
And then for the actual embellishment on the paper clip, I am using stickers from Dollar Tree. So I'm using these sunflower stickers and these um, fall leaf stickers. And then I'm also using these cupcake picks that I got at Hobby Lobby. So here's the pumpkin ones and the sunflower ones and the little trucks. So you can use anything you have that's like an embellishment. Last year I think I used like the little sunflower ones from Hobby Lobby. By the way, this adorable plaid orange mug is from World Market. My sister and I just got that last weekend. So I'm also using my tiny attacher, a one inch circle punch, and my hot glue gun, which is over here. I didn't need my one inch circle punch on these and I'll show you why, let me open them up. So these are packaged so cute if you wanna give them as a gift, like pop this in a card or something, or sell these at your craft fair. So here's the cute little set that I made. And if you take the pumpkin, so what I did is I used a little foam adhesive in the middle and I included two pumpkins on here so it's like double sided, which I think is super cute. And then I did the same thing for the sunflower and the same thing for the truck. Because these are double sided and so I was able to match them up. Although the pumpkin one I did wrong, I didn't match it up like a mirror image, but it still looks cute. But so for each paper clip, you need two of whatever embellishment you're using when it comes to these cupcake picks. So that's why I didn't need the circle punch for those, but I'll show you what I use the circle punch for. But first let me just show you like an example of how these can go. This is a traveler's notebook that I have for fall. I still need to decorate my pages, but just look how cute that would be if you like stuck these. So it can come like sticking out of your little notebook. I think that's so cute. And just depending on what you're using it for, if you're using it for a, like a composition journal or anything, you can just stick these out of the top and I think that's so adorable. So that's how I would use them. But let me go ahead and put these back in here. I'm gonna show you how to do this. It's like so easy. So let me show you what I mean about the circle punch. So on these sunflower ones, I just took one of these sunflower stickers and I used my circle punch. So again, here's the cute little set that I made and then I'll show you. There is just an adorable little circle punch on the back covering up the hot glue. So that makes for a perfect paper clip and then you get one paper clip per sticker, which is really awesome. And then of course, here's my fall leaves. I think they turned out so adorable. So let's go ahead and get started in making some of these. So let's make a set using these cupcake picks I got from Hobby Lobby. You get 24 in a pack and you need two of each per paper clip for this, for the way I did these. So I'm gonna get two trucks, two sunflowers, two pumpkins. Okay, so here's what we're working with. And the first thing we need to do is, is carefully take the little stick out. Okay, so please don't injure yourself during this part, but you have to pull the little stick out. I found that they're pretty easy, but I didn't want to get like a splinter. So I just took a pair of scissors and lightly grasped it. And it usually comes pretty much right out. It might rip it a little bit, but just make sure that part's on the inside. Now we have two of each, and this is so easy. I did forget to mention on these, because they don't come with their own foam adhesive, that you'll need to use some of your own. So I have this from a big roll of foam adhesive. Go about a third of the way up on this pumpkin, and tear that off. Then take some hot glue, and do just a little dab. And for these, I'm going to be using the orange paper clip. So I'm just going to take my paper clip, make sure you're using the end, the correct end, 
which is opposite obviously of the part that goes on the paper. So then you just press that in there and then I'm going to take my second pumpkin. So I'm not going to be matching this one up like a mirror image and because I ripped it a little on this side so I think it'll be okay. I'm going to go ahead and put it on this way even though it's not going to be a mirror image it'll still work. So I'm just going to match those up as best I can and press it down and we have our first one done. So there's our little pumpkin. So let's do the same for the sunflower. Let me show you how we're going to package these. So I've got the Fall Fields paper pad and I'm just going to choose a sheet that will look good. That's super pretty. Do these trees. Okay, so for the clear bags that I'm using that I just showed you and I'll have them linked below, this is going to be cut down to four and one eighth tall by six inches wide. So that means when you cut your four, you're going to cut your four and one eighth down first. And that means that the top is at the right, bottom is at the left. So I'm going to make my four and one eighth cut first. And then and you're just going to cut that right in half at six and you've got two six inch pieces. So for this you're going to need two pieces, again, that measure four and one eighth by six. Okay, so with the scraps of the paper, I'm going to cut a piece down to one by six. So again, you need two pieces that measure four and one eighth by six, and you need one piece that measures one by six. So all you do now is you're gonna make this like a little sturdy base. So I just take my tape runner and do just a little adhesive, cause you're just gonna back these up on each other. Just like this. And I know I've seen people like cut a little slice out of the paper right here and then attach these, but I think it's more sturdy to do it this way where you take your one inch strip of the same pattern so it kind of blends in and about a quarter of the way up or maybe a third of the way up, you're going to set it down on there just like this and then simply staple the two ends. So I like to use my tiny attacher for this, but you can just use a regular stapler if you don't have one. So I'm gonna take this and at the very end, I'm just gonna staple each side down. So that way we have this nice little base for our paper clips. And then all you have left to do is just stick your paper clips on here. So I'm gonna go with the pumpkin. And then the little truck. How cute is this? And then the sunflower. This is just like a cute little fall project. These aren't like the best quality because we have the little stick that we pulled out, but I still think this is just so adorable. So now I'm just gonna take my clear bag. And I'm gonna slip this right in there. It's so easy. And it was just, I would just take like a day and just do a bunch of paper clips and then package them up. So cute for Happy Mail or your craft fair, teacher gifts. And then the back is all decorative. And then there's the front. Isn't that just so cute? We got that one done. Let me show you how I did these cute sunflower ones. Okay, so for these sunflower ones, I got these at the Dollar Tree. So look how many packs you can get out of this. I've already made this pack right here, and I still have all these left. So 
I'm going to choose four of these. And the cool thing about these is they already have their own foam adhesive on there. Remember the measurements are four and one eighth by six inches. So we need two of that size. So with this little bit I have left, I'm gonna cut this down to six inches. Look at that, you could like save this for a project. Isn't that pretty? And cut this down to one inch. So now we have our one by six piece. And with the rest of this scrap here, I'm going to take my one inch circle punch. So now I've got four of these one inch circles punched out. Okay, so here's everything to work on our paper clips. All we need is a little dot of glue from the hot glue gun. So isn't that so pretty? So I'm just going to do a little dab of glue there. And all you do for these, instead of backing them with another one, you're just going to do your paper clip. And then take one of your circles and place it right over that to hide that glue. And it gives a little decorative piece back here. And now there's your first sunflower paper clip. So then we just do the rest of these the exact same way. Okay, so here's the four sunflower paper clips. Got them all done, all cute with their little circle punch on the back. Now let's just get this ready the exact same way we did the other one. And make sure you use either double-sided paper or I recommend backing two single-sided papers up like I am because it makes for a more sturdy pack. And here's the decorative piece on that side. So that one's all done. I'm going to add it to my pile. hope that you enjoyed this video I, I love making these paper clips I just want to go through my stash and see what else I have 
to make paper clips out of because these are so fun and the paper clips I got from Amazon were perfect for this project and just look in your stash see what you have what embellishments you could turn into paper clips package them up and give them a new life thank you so much for watching I am so happy that fall is here I love fall so much and I hope that you're enjoying all the fall and autumn crafting thanks again everybody I'll see you in the next one bye